All right, now we're gonna talk about the handgun that I use. This is a Glock 19. This is a Gen 3 Glock 19. It's been customized from Joint Force Enterprises. They do phenomenal work. So let's start from the top down. So the top, we have the sights. You've got the Trijicon HD night sights. What I prefer in sights, I don't really care that they have tritium back here that like never gets used anyways. What I care about, this is an all black rear, a highly visible front sight to make the sight alignment much simpler and then a really flat, aggressive rear edge. I don't want ramp sights, I don't want steel sights. And the reason for the sights here, the rear sight, is when I start doing one-handed manipulations, I can run my sights off my belt and it makes just cycling the gun much, much easier. You can run it off pretty much anything. So blacked out rear, aggressive edge, high visibility front sight. These are great. Uh, let's talk about the, the hydro, hydro dip coating. So Joint Force Enterprises did the whole gun in black multicam and it matches the Safari Land ALS holster that it came with. Fantastic job, thanks guys. They also did the stippling. So you know with the Gen 3, there's finger grooves. They removed the finger grooves, they did the undercut, and they did this wraparound stippling all the way up here and even gave me some tactile uh, reference points up here for my thumbs. So the stippling, not necessary, but it is a lifesaver when your hands are just covered in sweat or your grip starts to fatigue this grip, the, the stippling really, really helps. And I didn't really realize how much of a help that uh, undercut would be. My grip gets so much higher on the back strap of the gun because of this little undercut right here. So Glock 19, Trichicon HD night sights, stippling from Joint Force Enterprises. Uh, it's a stock Glock trigger. Nothing really special about it other than the cosmetics. Fantastic gun. There's a lot of guys that run these. I've seen some really expensive guns at these competitions or even like at the ranges that are uh, like $2,000 custom guns. They jam a lot. You run the wrong ammo, they jam. You run the wrong magazines, they jam. These things, no problems.